dreams are more aspirational than like your unconscious. In Ethiopia, Sophia is the new face of artificial intelligence. Hi, Sophia. She responds to questions with facial expressions. Though she was assembled by a Hong Kong-based robotics company, Sophia's software was partly developed in Addis Ababa by iCog Labs. We have a major development paths in that. We are building the world leading AI blockchain platforms. We call this singularitynet.io. We are a core participant of this one. So I can say that we are in the leading edge of AI and uh, blockchain. Tech startups like iCog are springing up across Ethiopia. In Sheba Valley, a tech hub built to resemble Silicon Valley in the United States, hundreds of programmers are developing new artificial intelligence software that could attract foreign investors. But Asifa says that's not going to happen until challenges facing the sector are overcome. We are even seeing that one of our problems is internet connection. <laughs> we are paying a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for having a very small internet connection that we can't even see video to get loan, to get fund, or to to have some sponsor or funding or or some sort. That's what I'm saying. If you go investment office, there is no incentive for software developers. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed wants to change that. He's introducing policy reforms that would allow tech startups to get funding from local and international investors. Asifa says the future of tech startups in Ethiopia depends on whether that policy gets implemented or not. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.